Welcome back to Coronation Street. We're here today with two of the biggest stars of the show right now. Not only are they gorgeous and delicious, but they're talented actors, and everybody seems to love Helen Flanagan. How are you? Hello, I'm very good, thank you. you? I'm a bit nervous meeting you. <laughs> Why? Well, I think I'm a bit in love, really. I mean, I know I haven't got a chance. I mean. <laughs> That's so sweet. That's so nice of you. And Ryan Thomas as well, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you for saying nice things about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, let's start with both of you. I mean, you're both sex symbols right now. Everybody loves you in all those glossy magazines. Everybody wants to see you naked and all that. It must be great to be you. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, I get to see you in your boxes soon. So, you've had a good day. Yeah, I've had a good day too. Well, I mean, this is a marriage made in heaven in terms of the programme. I mean, off camera, how do you deal with those uncomfortable moments when you're both, well, naked? Um, well, I'm really, really good friends with Ryan, so we just have, like, banter about it and we just, like, have fun with it. So, it's, it's good. We, we it's, get well. Yeah, it's strange to say, we don't really get that nervous with each other. I mean, we probably did first thing we ever did together, but we weren't naked. So, by that time, when it comes to being <laughs> semi-naked all the time, we were sort of very comfortable with each other and we just have a joke about it, so it's nice. Congratulations on both of your roles in this. You made it your own, and that's the thing about this. I mean, there's so many come and go because you've got to make an impact, haven't you, and make the role your own. Uh, certainly with you, Helen, right now, I mean, you're just fabulous. Everybody wants to watch you and see you uh, f for various reasons. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not upset you. I'm, I'm just starting with <laughs> Oh, that's really sweet of you to say. I really, um, I love my character. I'm very, very fortunate because, you know, I get to, you know, have a lot of fun with my character. And, you know, it is, it is really, really good fun. And I think everyone kind of likes Rosie because she's funny and she's that kind of, like, glamorous character. And, no, it's really good. Is it true that you're only as good as your material and you're only as good as the lines they give you? They've given you some corking stories, haven't they? I'm very lucky because the script writers give me some great lines to do. And um, I think there's all different sides of Rosie. I mean, I think she's, you know, you've seen her being quite bitchy, but I think... With the storyline, with um, you know, with Jason and everything, I think it brings out. I mean, not a boring, but like a, a much nicer kind of side to Rosie, which is still still fun and still good. But so that's nice, you know, because it kind of gets a bit, you know, samey if you're just being like bitchy and stuff. So this kind of shows the character, you know, does have a heart and stuff, which is much interesting to play. And of course, she's been around the houses and stopped in most of them. Um, where do you draw <laughs> parallels between you and her? Because it's difficult, isn't it? Because you're doing this every day. How, how do you kind of make sure that, that the line stops when you leave Coronation Street? Or um, well, there's a big difference between me and Rosie. I mean, I'm just a proper geek in real life. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like really, really soft. I wouldn't say be to a goose. But I think what's, what Rosie and Jason have in, camera, uh, in common is I think they're both a little bit lost in their own ways. So I think, you know, it's quite, it's really, really quite special that they've found, you know, kind of maybe like love with each other and stuff because it's, you know, I think they are a bit lost, both of them, so. And of course you've got the current big storyline with your sister and the soap being a lesbian and all of that. It's dealt with in such a funny way. That's how they do it at Coronation Street. It's kind of heavy at the same time, whereas EastEnders will make it depressing. Uh, Coronation Street makes it funny. How is all that going to resolve? Come on, tell me the answers. I think it's really, really good that they've done that um, storyline. I, I think they've, uh, you know, done it really, really sensitively and stuff. And um, Brooke and Sasha have done it brilliantly. I mean, both of them are amazing actresses. I, you know, I really, really do think that. So, I mean, I, th I think they're handling it really well. But I don't think it's, you know, it's not a storyline that's going to go because it's not like a phase or anything, you know, because, you know... You know, and I think they've dealt with sensitivity and stuff. I always compare my character to Joey from Friends. I don't know, he's very much so like that. That is so true. Um, that, is, that is so true. So, yeah, I think, I think that's sort of a, a little bit how I play it, obviously, because that, that's the way they write the character. Um, a lovable, dopey, sort of, you know, typical guy about town. And, and that's sort of how, how it is. And, and it's exciting to play. And it's, you know, in the 10 years I've been there, there's so many different storylines that he's had. And, and, and I've been very lucky to have them storylines. And now I'm working with... Helen as well so I'm even more lucky as <laughs> most guys out there keep telling me <laughs> but I've, what, I've noticed, what I've noticed about Ryan and stuff is like you're like seriously like you're so natural though you make everything like so real and stuff so do, do, do you know what I mean though even though like you are you know you, it is though you are you, well, it's really really good to I work I think with. that's the, the honestly I, I, mean, I don't mean this just to flatter you but I think that's a great thing about all the soaps is if you look like you're acting it's not going to work and, and you, you it, never looks, it never looks like he's acting which is which oh, is thank good. you Helen she's yeah. been really nice to me she's never this nice to me normally it's only because we're on, on, on the mic. Nice. Don't think I didn't notice earlier. There I was doing another interview as you were beating each other up. What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we just have bad, seriously we like brother and sister, which is it's really nice to have that relationship. Yeah, there's a lot of love in the room. Yeah, a lot of love and hate between the two <laughs> characters and the two um, characters that are playing them. <laughs> do you have a lot of time to hang around when you're at Granada recording the show? Because you do incredibly long hours, but you're not filming all the time, are you? 
Um, well, well, there is sometimes like waiting around, um, but at the moment because of the 50th, it's so manic. You know, we're all kind of like pushed from one unit to the other. But I mean, what? What? I mean, everyone's in the same boat, so all the cast kind of keep our spirits so up. We all have our bands together, and we all just pull each other through and realise, you know, how lucky we are, uh, you know, to be part of the 50th and how amazing it is. So, if you're so busy, why are you wasting your time talking to me? <laughs> because we're here to promote the DVD, and, and that's quite important. So, um, <laughs> of course, we're for all the right reasons. Have you been here on a PR course or something? That was brilliant. That, that segue is perfect. <laughs> the DVD. What we're happens with you two on this DVD then? It's called A Knight's Tale, and everybody's going to be talking about it. What, what happens? And basically, it's just absolutely mad. It's like a fantasy world. It's completely manic. I mean, the script is like absolutely crazy. It's like it is. It's amazing. It's really, really, really funny. Carry on film, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It's it's like a carry on film. And um, no, it's just really, really good fun. I mean, there's. I think it's got everything. I mean, you know, it's got the whole kind of like sexy kind of characters, and then it's got the the funny stuff with Malcolm and Petty Claire, and it's just it's just amazing. It's really, really, really good. It'll be an easy watching DVD for you know everyone to watch at Christmas because um, it's seen if you like Coronation Street. Obviously, if you like Coronation you're going to watch this DVD. Um, you'll see the characters out there in normal environment, which is great. And you get to see the comedy side of things. But you also get to see a little bit of drama and other faces that you haven't seen for a little while that used to be in Coronation Street. So. Now, there I was doing my show the other week and flicking through the papers. And there you were in a bikini on like page seven of The Sun. I just want to talk to you about what it's like to see that when you go through the paper and you're in it. You both had massive press recently. How does that feel? Um, it doesn't. I, I think it's. I have been in the, the show for about about eleven years, so it doesn't really. You know, I mean, I suppose if, if someone says something nice about you, you think, oh, that's nice. But I, I think they say that about anyone. You know, if they were in the show, so I was just, oh, that's nice. Well, I don't know about anyone. That's not how the PR works, <laughs> is it? Really, you've got to be careful what you do. Do you have a good life? Because I mean, you're working long hours and all that. I mean, are you able to have the party? Because you're based here in Manchester, and they say that everything happens in London. I don't know if that's true. Is it fun working out of Manchester? Well, I live just outside of Manchester, but it's great because. This job was a job on my doorstep, so um, it, it, I've not had to go anywhere. Like a lot of people do, have to travel, and for it, I think we take it for granted that we're so close to our work and so near to our home. And it's 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 a great it's a great place to be, Coronation Street, if you're from Manchester. And we, we you know we're both the only Bolton, aren't you? So we... yeah, I mean I think like whenever I'm not like working in Manchester and stuff, my boyfriend lives in Wales in Swansea. So whenever like I'm not at work, then I'm down to Swansea, which is like five hours away. But it's, it's not ideal, is it? Um, just very finally, Helen, there's no chance that a gorgeous girl like you would ever consider a deeply unattractive man like me, is there ever? ever. <laughs> That's so strange. No, but it's true though. I mean, you know well, what I'm talking about. I think you're gorgeous. Right? I think you're gorgeous. Yeah, you don't really, do you? No, That's I do, true. I've I do. seen your boyfriends. I don't look anything like them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying, don't you, right? Are you trying to pull Helen here? Let's keep it real. <laughs> oh, yeah, as if I'm going to compete with a football player. Guys, thank you so much for talking to me. This new DVD is out. It's called A Knight's Tale. And uh, thanks to Helen and Ryan. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you.